Last week's vlog, we talked about how you can maintain your professionalism and stand in a place of your greatness even when things go very wrong and you're super duper stressed. I talked about how I handled it and some key lessons and suggestions about how we can maintain stress-free and also actually demonstrate our greatness even when the situation is all falling apart. This week, I wanna talk about the important learning that can happen for whoever is doing the messing up. That actually, by you standing in your greatness, they're able to really grow and learn from it. You see, oftentimes what happens is we just get into that complaint mode. We tear a strip off of whoever has done something wrong. And in my case, these were service professionals and goodness knows, we treat them as invisible, dispendable commodities. And I wasn't about to do that same sort of thing to them. In fact, that may be why they didn't check in with me first about if it was okay to throw out the materials that I so needed because they're used to their voice not mattering. So they didn't even speak up. And that's an issue that we create that we don't respect them. The other piece is that when we don't give feedback, because some of us will just be dissatisfied and they'll just say, well, we're never gonna go there again, or it's not my problem. Nobody has an opportunity to learn from it and to improve and to grow. And for this organization, the root issue, it turned out that there was a lot of brand new staff. So without the conversation with the staff, as well as with the leadership, they weren't able to realize the gaps in their onboarding process. Now, the benefits of all of this is that you may actually find that you really appreciate how they're able to do some service recovery and that you maybe want to do business with them again. You'll feel better about yourself and furthermore, the individuals who are involved in this situation will be able to save face. And frankly, we all deserve that. So here are some things that this organization was able to learn by the process that we took. Number one, I spoke directly with the service staff and their response to me allowed for a dialogue. Really, the first thing that they said was, well, we always have to clean the tables. And I was able to give some feedback that it would be great if you could perhaps collect all the materials and put it on one table, and then you could check in with the client when they're available if that can be thrown out. So in other words, I was able to give some feedback directly. And oftentimes we don't do that. We don't speak directly with the individual. We go right above their head to their boss or we complain about them behind their back and that solves nothing. When they weren't able to address the issue or they weren't invested enough to fully address the issue, then I was able to say, you know what? I need to go and I need to speak with somebody who's responsible for making sure that the training and the onboarding happens because they expressed to me that was the gap. That was the issue. They didn't know that that was part of their job. They didn't know that they should do that. And I said, you know what? I'll take some responsibility for giving some feedback that that was a gap that they've let you down. So I went out and I saw the person who's responsible for this. And I, I said, first of all, you have such greatness on your team. They're efficient, they're organized, they work well as a team, which is great. The challenge though, when that's a strength overused is this, explain the situation of what happened. She listened really well, so I acknowledge her greatness and really caring about the customer and prioritizing me when clearly she had a lot of other things to do. And she was able to tell me, listen, we're gonna make it right. We're gonna make it right in the moment and get what you, the tools, resources that you need. But also I am committed to making sure that I follow up with folks to understand where the gap in the training has been so that we fill it. In other words, they have an opportunity to delight you in the moment and they have an opportunity to get better because nobody chooses to run a business to do a bad job. Nobody shows up to work to say, I'm gonna purposely try to mess people's day up. This gives everyone an opportunity to do better. The final thing was, what I really appreciated is that they were able to say, if there's anything else you need, here's my card. And for those of you who are in the service industry, whether it's your company or you work for somebody else, there may be everything you've done for the customer and they're completely satisfied, but that last gesture of you giving them your contact information proves that if you don't feel this is over, I still wanna make it right for you. So, you know, to be very, very clear, I was not their direct customer. I was one of many people who were speaking at this event, but they treated me not like a number, but as the important person that was, that was part of the team that was ultimately paying the bill. I hope you found this to be helpful because so many of the people I know who watch this vlog are people who are in the service industry, whether it be caregiving or whether it be customer service or so forth. And even if you're not, 
even if you're considering running your own business one day or you were running a small solopreneur practice, I encourage you to consider the next time somebody is coming to you, they're upset, they're angry, they're frustrated, they're stressed, something has fallen apart. What do you need to learn from it? Because ultimately that's what this vlog's been about. They learned so much from what didn't work well that that was better knowledge than if everything had gone smoothly and there had been no deeper, no further understanding. Do you hear what I'm saying? My name's Sarah McBannell. I hope you have found this really valuable and you subscribe and you come back every week to get lots and lots of value either through the YouTube channel or through my website, greatinsmagnified.com. Be well and be great.